Now I've removed some of the things I don't want painted. Obviously the mag release on the end of the buttstock I've taken that off, taken out the uh, charging handle. Um, yeah, now this is not a how-to. This I'm just simply showing you how I paint my my stuff. So um, this is not the right way. Um, I'm just again I'm just showing you how I do it. I'll just give it a nice light coat to start with. And then I'll flip it over. Stuck some paper down inside the mag well so the terminals don't con get contaminated with paint. Pick it up. Trying to interlock those lines. All right. Then I'm lay it down again and try this template. Let's just go for it. Oh, that looks pretty good. So what I'm doing, obviously I'm putting the khaki on top of the green and I'm going to put the green on top of the khaki. Now for the final coat, um, you just give it, I'm giving it just a soft touch with the lighter colour just to have get everything to blend in. So flip this over. So you can hear it's all a little bit harsh though, you just give it a, a pass. And everything just sort of settles into each other. All right, back again. Um, now I'm going to weather it and put it all back together. Um, I'm not totally happy with the outcome of the paint job, but I could have, if I wanted to take more time and do a better job, but I just can't be bothered. So here's what it is. So I'm just gonna quickly put all this crap back on. And then um, I'll show you what I do the next step. Now this blaster is a um, it's an APS all metal blaster. Uh, it came with <coughs> it was just a standard M4A1 configuration. Didn't have this uh, hot hand guard on here. Um, yeah, I think these APSs are, are bloody awesome. I'm uh, very happy with them. Uh, I've upgraded the gearbox. 
I think they're, you know, if you want to upgrade to, I think if you want to upgrade and do customs like, you know, SOCOM, Block 2s and things like that, I think that these APSs are a great um, base just to start with. Now comes the fun part. This is the part I like doing the most is weathering. Um, so what I use for weathering is rag or a paper towel. Sometimes tools like files and crap. And give it that nice worn look. I really don't like the look of brand new blasters, it drives me crazy. So I use some brake cleaner. This stuff is really volatile. So I make sure I wear, you know, protective eyewear and all the PPE. But as you can see, it's quite aggressive. I mean, yeah, sure, the paint's not that dry, hasn't cured properly, but even so, this stuff's, yeah, it's, it's excellent. So what I'll do, <coughs> I'll weather all this up and then I'll show you the final result. 